Hey everyone, welcome back to the Girl of Gen Z podcast. I am your host, Clarissa, and today I have my first guest that I'm bringing on, and it is, drumroll. Yay, my first guest, Christina. I'm Clarissa, one of Clarissa's best friends from high school. Yes, I'm so happy she um, is yay. the first guest. Mm-hmm to be on an episode oh my god so. yeah thanks so much i'm so honored like for real. <laughs> yeah this should be a good one christine and i go way back as Pretty i like to say back, it yeah um we were each other's first like best friend in high school yeah Is that accurate? and like we like stayed yeah we're stayed still friends. friends yeah I, I find that it's hard to keep lasting friendships nowadays like and uh close. yeah for sure so do you want to tell a story of how we met before yeah. we dive into your life so we were I remember it like so vividly too when you like came in, up and talked to me but we were in we were going to from grade eight to grade nine from like a math and literacy camp and literally it was for a week and you spend a week in the high school that you're going to and for like what the morning we learn about like language and learn how to like write I can't remember it was like it was like a pre-English not a requisite but just imagine it that kind of they were yeah. prepping you they're prepping, they prepping you for like you, what English in would the be afternoon like. you do math and then on the very last day we all got our schedules and everyone is in like the foyer of our high school like oh my god like do we have classes together whatever and I remember you came up to me and you were wearing white jeans with like a bright pink shirt oh my god and leopard flats I was like oh my god I didn't know like you were our age I'm like oh my god this girl's like really like fashionable and then you came up and talked to me I'm like oh my god just talk to me and I was like oh my and you're like oh my god do we have any class together and I was like yeah I think we did we have like geography, geography which is a whole whole another story guys um oh my god I'm proud about that but yeah that's like when I first like met you but who but, like, introduced us before that was Sophie yeah um so Sophie went to the same dance studio as Christina did yeah that's how we and know each other that was kind of like the pre-meeting but we didn't really know each other know each other no, were we, we in the like same audition of... for dance no, so Christina I and I were so. both dance majors in high school mm-hmm. um and so I don't think we were in the same audition, but I remember Sophie talking about you and going to the same dance studio as you and being like, oh, Christina's going to audition too. She's one of my friends from the dance studio we dance at. I was like, oh, cool, wicked. Like immediately, I don't know if Instagram was a, no, Instagram wasn't in grade nine yet. I don't think it was like big. Okay, but she might have showed me like a Facebook photo or something. Probably, oh my gosh. Because I definitely knew who who she who Christina was when I saw you in the foyer like you weren't just some random that I went up to I don't know if you know that but like I kind of did know who you were but I didn't know enough about mm -hmm. you and it was like yeah the whole literacy camp yeah that I guess brought us together yeah so we had geography and French we had French together with uh that male teacher and Sophie was also in her class yeah and oh someone else we were close with at the together. time. Yeah, Lexi was also in our class. Yeah. It was like a little quad we oh sat my God, together I forgot about that. in in French. But that yeah, so, so that's fun. how we met. Um, and then from there we in geography. Um, it was the period right before lunch. <laughs> Christine and I made. We had three B, didn't we? Yeah. So we had <laughs> class and then lunch and then that same class. class again. Yeah, it was oh guys the God. worst lunch. With it was a very strict teacher, teacher like old yeah. school. Like he would give you late slips if you were late. Yeah, and he oh my and I think it was slightly a shorter lunch too, like by five. Yeah, five in five minutes. But guys, five minutes was not a long time when like forty minutes when you're running to go out for lunch like our plaza that we'd go to that had like a tim hortons a pizza pizza and me and clarissa would go out for lunch what once a every, week? Wednesday. every wednesday <laughs> and i came up with this ahead of time because in elementary school we had something called um lunch, lunch moms ladies. or lunch ladies as people would say so on wednesdays <laughs> you would get like a meal that was like meatloaf <laughs> like yeah, pasta I remember, I love lunch and the ladies. big giant cookies you yeah. remember those were the freaking best anyway so i just like the tradition of like wednesdays being like the fun mm-hmm. lunch like not just something boring you pack so i was like God, I hey why wanna to yeah i was like why don't go out on on like it was wednesdays like for lunch wednesday or thursday and it was like just yeah. me and you because depending <laughs> on the weather we would change it yeah. yeah christina and i would we like go through this little neighborhood and there'd be like <laughs> I don't want to say stoners, but like the people, it was like pretty sketch. Yeah, it was like yeah, it was yeah. That like that's basically know. it. Yeah. yeah. So we'd go like run and get our lunch. We'd be eating it on the way back. Sometimes depending Literally how long the on line the was. way back, and then so yeah, tell the story about when were you gonna tell the story about when you were running <laughs> and the chili, yeah, and the coupon. <laughs> you got a coupon, right? Oh my god, I remember it was Civvy's day. But that there was day a bunch too. of us. So yeah. this is the one exception. So. Uh, 
I didn't mean to be a mean person at this this little pocket of high school, but I didn't like lots of people coming out for and lunch with Christine like and I because there'd be way too many of us and then you'd have to wait for everybody's meal and then yeah. there's the one person that's just waiting for theirs and everyone has their food and you're yeah. like, we're going to be late for class. Mm-hmm. And I feel like for a lot of people that wouldn't matter, but like I get so anxiety, like about being scared late. about being, I hate being Same. late. It's like a pet peeve of mine. And if I can avoid it, I will. Obviously, if it's out of your control, it's completely different. Mm-hmm. So... Same. It was me, you, a few dancers, because... I don't know, was it? I honestly forgot. Yeah, it was a few dancers, um, and then a couple guys. And um, I remember <laughs> I had these coupons, and I was like, oh, I really want to go to Pizza Pizza and to get the like, chili. S- like, <laughs> stern on getting this the chili. chili. Like, I have a coupon, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> so. I was the last one to get my food. I remember being so annoyed, because I was like, oh, I'm the person that's holding and it. And <laughs> yeah, but weren't you, like, the first one to order, too? I think for so. For some reason, it literally took so long for you. And yeah. all they need to do is, like, heat it up. Yeah. And I, it was it to stupid. You. So I don't even know. It was, like... 10 minutes maybe it was a 10 minute walk and we yeah. only had 10 minutes to get back or like nine or yeah. eight it was and like that like random number out. so <laughs> i don't know if anyone else was freaking out as much as like me and you but we we're like oh my god like we're gonna get late slips because we see people like, in our class get constantly slips. getting them and me she'd always laugh like, Haha, like yeah. that's on us like we're always on time or oh early my god. so we're literally booking it like and we had to <laughs> run up the hill and Clarissa had her chili, and I remember you were like, "Is what it's cold?" And you were like, "They took it out of the freezer, and it's still cold." And I'm like, "I literally don't care." Like we, we, I remember it was Civvy's day, and I was wearing jeans, and I was sweating. Yeah, when it I was got like, back to class. Su- no, it was like October? fall, but like hot. You yeah know? it was like early october maybe yeah. but it was yeah it was still warm and this one guy that i was like sharing my coupons with <laughs> was driving me insane i was like stop talking to me i'm running with my <laughs> chili <laughs> you let me no. get to class like i don't care if you're late <laughs> so rude was we, he like, in our class too run up the stairs yeah <laughs> and like the little portable stairs guys like we had it no ac yeah. there was like this dingy crappy classroom and we were like did we we made it by like we, 30 seconds yeah and people after people after us got late slips i think and i remember like oh my god we made it within seconds like literally and, and i remember sweating in my chair yeah like, we, we kind of it was like that movie myself. moment where we looked at each other like oh my god we actually made it <laughs> so funny. it wasn't worth the and chili you like always say that you're like oh my god remember like when we <laughs> whenever we talk about going out for lunch you always like bring that up i feel <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you bring it up sometimes <laughs> You're like the chili. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like no, it's a lot. I was gonna say I haven't got chili since then, but I like I've had it at home. I just never like get pizza, it. Pizza, 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 chili, and you're like, yeah. I need it. <laughs> it was awful. Anyway, um, okay, let's so get funny. on to the next chapter of this yeah. this uh, segment here. So let's rewind back to your childhood. So what was it like you growing up? Where did you grow up? Your parents were they immigrants? Were they born here? Let us know some more about you. Okay. So I'm the youngest sister by far. I'm like 12 years from my oldest sister and like six years from wow, my I've middle sister. Wow, I've never pictured it like that. Literally, when I tell people, they're like, Are, is that your real sister? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I think so. They're like, you're not stepsisters? I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Like all the time. I get that. All, they're like, wow, that's an eight if I've ever heard one. Yeah. But yeah, we're so close. Literally best friends. Daniela, my middle sister, just got engaged. That's crazy. So, like, we it's talked about weird. this last time getting it's coffee. so we weird. Coffee. Just to say. I literally gasped when i saw that photo it's so weird like she got say. engaged in italy so it's like even more romantic yeah and like c- crazy they've been dating for so long and i knew they were gonna get engaged but i'm like ew like it's actually happening <laughs> but yeah it's crazy um but yeah my parents my dad was born in italy um my what mom part? was in the south it's called calabria so nice i've been there three times it's like right on the beach is it small like a small city um no that's like one of the bigger south cities like a lot of like everyone like knows it and like Italy. i've definitely heard of it but like yeah what is it near like what other major Mm. (laughs) (laughs) i'm not sure about that one i have no idea but it's like like the like the boot it's like the toe of the boot oh okay that's what my dad has like always told me yeah okay um and yeah what about your mom like my mom was born here but her parents were born in italy so her parents have a house there so whenever we go there we stay there it's like easy so do her Um, parents also have a house here yeah so they have one in canada one in calabria Mm, no my mom's parents are from the north 
Oh, so literally okay, okay. in like completely like two opposite like the boot yeah <laughs> opposite as the parts boot. of the boot um so do you visit different both parts when you go visit yeah i usually. guess it's kind of like mm-hmm. customary like you have whenever to do. we go yeah. yeah all the times that we've when we've like visited both parts and we like drove it's like a six hour drive from like each part it's not that bad but okay um yeah what else so your family of three girls how is that for your dad oh my gosh and we have a girl dog <laughs> Names? My dad, Molly, my dad, we were all like obsessed with her. Like, it's so funny because we're that like dog family that like talk, like, yeah, like talks <laughs> to my dog. And it was funny because, and my dad loved, like adores my dog. Like is probably it's like loves cute. her like the most, but my dog loves my mom the most. <laughs> and it was so funny because this past December we went to PetSmart to <laughs> get my dog a picture with Santa. <laughs> like we're like that family. And then we were before like there was a line and all the dog parents are like, come on, and like talking to their dogs. And we were making fun of them. We're like, look at them like talking to their dogs. Like so funny. And then my sister's boyfriend, he was like, You guys are the exact same. Like, are you don't make fun of them because you guys are like them like are you kidding that's so funny um, but yeah so when would you get the dog we got her when i was in grade nine and it was funny because she's like my dog technically but what was this like at the beginning of grade nine no like it was like december of grade nine okay because i like vaguely remember you saying you got a dog yeah but i couldn't remember if that was yeah, that early yeah. on it holy a, I know, it's so weird and it's funny grade because nine. my aunt's a vet and she I, she knew like we really wanted a dog whatever and my aunt's a vet and she had someone bring in my dog um and be like oh I can't like take her anymore whatever and she was like new and my aunt was testing out if my dog would like work in our household and she wanted it to be a surprise for me to like keep her and um she's like just babysit her babysit for like two weeks and I was like oh my gosh I'm so excited like to dog sit this dog um, and then on Christmas Eve, my parents are like, Molly's yours. And I'm like, oh my oh God. My really? God. Yeah, That's such so a cool. like, great way to like su- kind of surprise I someone. Know, it's like, so you kind of get it introduced and then you find, if it's a good dog, you find mm-hmm. out that it's like yours to keep. Yeah. She's like That's such crazy. like a quiet, she's so small. She's eight pounds and like white and fluffy. She's so and cute. She is like scared of other dogs, but like that's okay. <laughs> she it's really, okay to be she scared of dogs. She really like to play only with us. <laughs> so what do you do when you take? Sorry, what do you do when you take her on walks? Um, she like now she is like gaining confidence, so she'll like kind <laughs> of later. go up to the dog, but then when they go up to her, she runs away. Um, so she like acts all tough. Does she like bark? Yeah. But then she's she like, oh my yeah, god, don't touch me. She literally acts all tough, and then when they come to her, she like runs away. Um, but yeah, she's like. So literally so cute that's so funny okay so that's your parents your sisters and how was it growing up like where did you approximately live do you like where you lived we lived in like mississauga i liked where i live literally i i love how it's like burbs yeah yeah Yeah. i would not want to live like grow up like in the city yeah in the city Ugh, i would not want that i loved having like a front lawn yeah and a backyard like the typical i don't want to say like nuclear family but it's true. white picket fence but yeah in I a sense having, you liked yeah. being surrounded by other houses other families other mm-hmm. people neighbors and it was so close to my elementary school i walked to elementary school every day and walked home yeah, the same way and yeah. it was close to my dance studio and it was like close to my high school i and like close to like yeah everything. you had the perfect like what would you call yeah. it perimeter like and like everything, everything was in was reach yeah, yeah for so sure close so you grew up dancing mm-hmm. and playing soccer? Yeah. So I played soccer um, all my life. My dad was my soccer coach. My whole family played soccer. And yeah, that was a I, huge soccer family. Oh Your sisters gosh. too. Yeah. And I, like, I played rep soccer. So it was competitive, like very competitive. And I played on like the highest level team. And my dad was my coach all my life. And, really oh yeah you didn't, didn't know that no i didn't know it was all your whole life yeah it was, was for like part it, of it it was for like whenever i played soccer he was my coach and he was like known to be like a very intense coach but like we were very we're, we were a very successful team and people either like loved us or like hated us and i just like didn't like i wasn't good i wasn't <laughs> good but you had fun playing the game sort of <laughs> like i liked like winning and when we like played like a non-competitive team and that's when I was good because it wasn't so stressful yeah and I think like being like super competitive I like wasn't I don't know I just like it made me like not like enjoy it a lot I loved the girls like playing and soccer I loved like going to like soccer tournaments 
Um, so just certain aspects that brought stress to the game that yeah, would like, just, like, stress you out more than just like have fun and like yeah, being like enjoy. super competitive. I like didn't like it, but I was also at the same time growing up, I was a competitive dancer, and I loved that so much more. So I think. I just, like, love dance and, like, didn't like soccer as much. So your so, dad got you into soccer. Yeah. Like, and then your mom the put you in dance. Yeah. It's usually how it goes. Yeah. So then at grade eight, I had to, like, choose something. And I obviously chose dance. So what age did you start soccer? Like, when I was, like, three. Like the So was that, like, house league? And then you transitioned to rep when? Yeah. When I was, like, 13 oh, back wow. in the day. And yeah. then dance your mom put you in i guess around the same time yeah like three or four mm-hmm. three and then i remember i got an audition for an competitive el- was that the elite dance studio like it was or so the one you exciting. were currently at the one i'm currently at okay um so i was at one dance studio like a very competitive one yeah when i was three and then my mom i remember i was in like pretty much a bikini like on stage and i was three and my mom's like what's going on like why is she in a bikini pretty much on stage she's three so then uh, we knew someone at the dance studio i'm at now so we moved and then they saw me dance and then I got a, a audition for competitive. And I was so excited because when I went into the audition, I like didn't really know what competitive was, but I remember in the audition, everyone was the exact same. Like everyone like when was we dressed did, the same, not like, yeah, dressed the same. But like when we did the combo, everyone had their right arm up and everyone moved their head at the same time and moved their arm and moved their head at the same time. I'm like, wow, like this, this is what competitive is like because stuff. like they're all the same. Yeah. Like, they're all like doing the same stuff. And I remember leaving and going to my mom, I'm like, mom, like they literally were so synchronized. It was, was like synchronized. Like, yeah. My mom's like, yeah, that's what competitive is. And then um, I got But I remember when I first started competitive, I was, re- I don't even know how old I was. I was really young, but I was with girls that was like two year, two or three years older than me. And it was so weird because like when I look back and you are probably like this too, we were so young and we remembered dances. I don't know how, but how like could, it's, it is it's crazy so to me to weird, think eh? that at such a young age, you can memorize like movements, like three minutes or two minutes of movements and then times like so many genres, like so tap, crazy. jazz, ballet, contemporary, solo, whatever. Especially like at that young age, I only had one dance. And I, like, can't remember, like, I can't Like, how can your brain, like, like we were three, take that capacity? Like, we're so yeah. young. Well, at that age, I want to say I definitely copied the dance teacher that was on stage more. Like, you yeah. know, in the early days where they... it was they'd... competitive. Oh, okay. Well, I, okay. Like, well, I guess I didn't start competitive so till... How old were you? I don't know. I was, like, really young. I was in grade three. I, I remember the grade, but I don't remember the age. However old you are when you're in grade three, that's when yeah. I started. But mine wasn't so much an audition, because we... I guess we can talk about that a little. So you were at a studio that was a little more, uh, I don't want to say like black and white, but like strict with how they did things to get into the competitive world. My studio was a smaller studio that was more, um, it was like, if you were ready the next year, you just go straight into it. Mm, There wasn't like a quote, Um, like audition phase. I don't know how it is now at the studio. I don't Mm -hmm. really keep in contact too much, but, um, yeah, they were like, okay, like you're ready to go if you're interested next year. Um, but obviously you'd still have to like take ballet as your, like your background foundation of dance. Like you, it was really hard to get out of that. Once you got older at my studio, it was easier to like slither your way out. But when you're young, it was like, no, they drilled. You need to have ballet as your background piece. You didn't have to compete in it, but it had to be, you had to take it. You had to enroll ballet no matter what tap, if you're doing jazz, musical theater, et cetera. Same. Okay. So your mom put you in competitive. What did you start first in competitive? I remember I started, I don't know. Oh, my first one, it was it was jazz and it was a dance called Splish Splash to the song. And what an oldie had, but a goodie. Um we had bathing suits, like these cute, like tie-dyed bathing suits, one piece bathing suits that I like wore in the pool. And we had towels that I still have. And then we had <laughs> these like beach these big beach buckets only you each three. had one no oh, only okay. three how many girls were in the dance there was like seven okay and like girls like came out of them but like that's how i like remember i'm like this is my first dance and we look back at the costume and it's like so small I'm like wow it's so weird that like you that's into crazy that. and then when more because i my competitive group was really small because i was like with older girls and then when more competitive people started joining my age i got put with the people that were my age and um not with the older girls anymore and my mom always tells me she's like when they put you with like people your own age you're like well why'd they do that like why'd they put me with people that's my very age? true yeah they're like why why'd i put why they put me with people my age because the older girls like push me harder <laughs> like, that's that is true though you know. the way your mom like thinks 
but yeah, I could definitely see that. I know. So crazy. So you were with the older girls for how many years? For only like three. That's still like a decent amount though. Three years with the older girls. Were they like significantly older? Like they were only couple? like three years older, but I they were like taller. I could definitely see you like going back and thinking about like our high school dance class. Christina definitely like did stand out in the sense of well, everything, like stage presence, technique, like it was all there. So I definitely could see you along with a couple other girls definitely being in like the higher age yeah, group de- with the like, for sure, like, you know, more advanced yeah. technique, etc. Okay, yeah, cool. So then be. you were in competitive dance for how many years? I was from, from let's say like five or six, like right when you can drink competitive, that's when I did it up until grade 12. So like 18. Yeah. Until you're ready to go oh, off to uni. So crazy. The same studio. And obviously I got offered like each year more dances. Yeah. Typically that's how it would go. Yeah. So um, what so was crazy. the most amount you would be in at once? Oh my gosh. The most amount that I did, I always stuck to five. I think that's what like my limit my mom gave me. And then... Well, it's, it gets harder after like that. Like hard. It's harder to like do homework and yeah. you're or at even the studio like, really remember, late. Yeah. And my most dances that I ever did, it was like in grade 10 or 11 was nine dances. I was in nine and usually people... Just at your dance studio. Yeah, just at my dance studio. Okay, guys. And then she also has our dances that... Yeah, you were at in at school, school that you were you had to be in for your grade and then mm-hmm. anything you want to audition for after school like tap or contemp or whatever that as well so nine and then plus the dances you had to do at school yeah and it was crazy because i thought i don't know why but i remember this whole like that whole year i thought i was only an eight <laughs> and then when i got my costumes i was counting them and i was like oh my god i'm in nine like i, I, I was that counting moment. my hands i was like wow like i'm in nine dances. that's such a satisfying oh moment god, though like did you have crazy. the rack and roll yeah everyone freaking oh if you're yeah. a competitive like a hardcore competitive, competitive yeah. dancer you would have a rack and roll we bought ours used because it was expensive. It was so expensive it's like this little luggage guys that has like a, a what's it called a rod when you open it like the rod comes up and yeah. then you hold to your all your costumes and you have like little pockets so you can put like your bobby oh pants yeah. your hair and ties then you would have a jazz shoes. that like big makeup thing yeah people just, would have like it was like a fishing or kit. it was like a train train case train ca- makeup train case is yeah. what we called it yeah it was like that's when you knew my mom was like <laughs> Like, oh yeah, my god I have do. I have to I have to get one of these like my daughters are in way too many like I can't yeah. lug around all this stuff I remember the days before competition my mom would oh, line up everything gosh, in yeah. her house hallway uh-huh. like have a checklist being like Kate she has this many she has Same. her backup tights in case these rip like yeah, like moms dance moms just know it like, was so crazy and then at the beginning when I first started competitive dance we were like so strict like blah 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 like we need these specific tights like do we have the tights and we would like triple check everything but then when it came to like my last year my mom's like did we check like do we have stuff like, <laughs> at that no, point we've been just, doing it yeah, yeah it gets it that so point long, like we like didn't we like yeah. knew what to do well eventually when I got old enough too my mom's like I'm like it's kind of your responsibility yeah. now like she would definitely be the extra set of hands but mm-hmm. it was like okay if you're in this many solos this duet this many groups like you know best especially for a musical theater I don't know if you're ever in a musical theater number where you like had lots of props <sighs> yeah that was a problem in half in itself just to remember all those little teensy things mm-hmm. and then like after you were done your piece on stage, making sure you or the prop guy grabbed, grabbed it all, it. right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So, so let's transition then. So going from elementary school to high school, was the high school you applied for the dance program or mm-hmm. auditioned, I guess, was that the only school you had in mind to go to? Yeah, I was. that was like my feeder school and I was going to go to it like no matter what. So a feeder school, if you don't know, is where it's like the home school, your yeah, elementary your school kids would go to if that makes yeah. sense like the closest one that's like catholic because we both went to a catholic yeah. one um it was my feeder school as well yeah, yeah but your sisters both also went there mm-hmm. so did that influence you or did your parents go like nope you're just going because no i think they were just like oh you're going yeah but they're like oh because ours was half arts and half regular mm-hmm. so i was gonna go there no matter what right yeah. okay did you apply to any other schools for dance no just the one a eh? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely yeah, had like had in mind going to multiple and then my parents like, Are you nuts? Like, like why? That's yeah. you're we have to drive further and like you don't know exactly, anyone and it's yeah. like so different. But mm-hmm. um okay, so then you got accepted into the dance program. Yeah, I got accepted to dance and drama. Oh, you applied for drama too? <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot about that. Well, we weren't in the same audition. No. Were Again. You, did you apply for drama? Yeah, and vocal. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. And vocal. I watched you all three. I remember <laughs> like my dad and I went to the open house. We're like 
my dad's like, so can she like, if she gets offered it, can she do all of them? And they're like, no, like it doesn't really work like okay, that, yeah, sir. And then they're like, because because you have to do the one credit per semester. If you missed one, then you'd be behind one, right? Yeah. Like you you wouldn't be able to flip flop like that. But I was like, well, that's crappy. Like I really liked the drama audition. Like I would have loved yeah, cool. to follow through with that vocal. With, like, their recitals at the end of the year, I don't really know if I would have been into, like, the songs they, okay, like, Okay, I went to the music and vocal Show? concerts yeah, that were they put combined, on. and I remember going to one, and I was like, like, that's it? Because I guess being a dancer, we're used to it's seeing different. things, like, moving, and when they were singing, I'm like, are they going to do any moves? It's not anything? musical theater, though, but we no, both in yeah. our head are like, are they going to do both? Like, it was really cute and good, <laughs> yeah. but I thought, like, it was different. It was yeah. cool, but, yeah, it was so different. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so once you got accepted into the dance program, uh, what was your first few days of school like? Like, because um, oh was it dance me. first period? No, it was last period. No. I think it was last period for the first semester. And the really? second period, second period, second semester was first period, I believe. In grade nine? I think so. Oh my God. I don't know. I forgot. But it was, it was last period, yeah. I think. Yeah. For, um, I was just like so excited and all of us were so excited just to like be in dance. I remember being in like the change room and us like changing. We'd be so excited. <laughs> we would like constantly be just like sharing our struggles, running late to class, like in our freaking ballet tights, like taking Oh my out God. Pins. Yeah. We had ballet. Oh my gosh. Oh I forgot about man. that. Oh man. Yeah. It was. <gasps> Wow. But it was definitely a good bonding experience for sure. And we just immediately like had our group, which was nice because mm -hmm. like people yeah, so that weren't in an art. So either vocal, drama, dance or like playing an instrument. I don't know what else oh, to yeah. call it. Like the Me instrumental music. program. <laughs> <laughs> um, you me immediately made cliques like we would yeah. sit together all lunch. I remember it was literally our whole like, like 15 the or 16 of us. Yeah, because we all had the same lunch. Yeah. So we and would we just, just knew each other. And there yeah. were some people that because me and you knew people from our elementary school at this high school yeah but some people in the dance program didn't it was just them so the only people that they had that's to true yeah people dancers. who didn't come from feeder schools like we mentioned earlier they were like taking two buses to get to our school yeah and yeah they didn't like know many drives. people mm -hmm. okay so then that's when definitely cute and welcoming <laughs> <laughs> for sure so how was your high school experience it did was you, good it was like so weird because i feel like do you think you got ripped off at all like do you think it was like what you envisioned it would be it got like better as it like went really yeah how do you how do you think, think? So. like grade nine i literally look back i'm like i'm like i'm such like a, i was felt like i was such like a nerdy like a little girl um i could see why you think that yeah but yeah. we had a football team still in grade nine. Oh yeah and then after remember we had to dress in teal and orange yeah those are our school colors and we had a football team wow yeah and that. then after that it was like it kibosh it was gone and then yeah grade 12 like was like the most like fun year um grade 12 was yeah for me, it was yeah. a fun year so fun but yeah it was so because a lot of the people that i went to elementary school with i just like stopped talking to because i yeah. got so close to you guys and i like wasn't like really sad about it yeah it, um, it's just a normal transition honestly yeah. it's like you have a little bit of a bigger crowd to choose from. You're like, oh, wow, yeah. well, we have classes together, so we're just going to talk more and mm -hmm. we get along. Uh, okay, we both share the same love for dance. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be like sleepover and movie buddies. Like, yeah, I got so close to like people that yeah. were like just like me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and like different, completely different like group of people that I was in like elementary school, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how, what was like a subject you were good at other than dance? And mm -hmm. then something you were like, oh my God, I hate going to this class. Like through all of high school? Yeah. What's like, is there something that sticks out? I remember in the sciences in grade like 10 or grade nine science, I tried really hard and I tried really hard in grade 11 chem. I tried so hard and I pr did like pretty good. And I remember I would always make um, a test review and I would study like really hard and it would pay off. But it was like a lot of work, obviously. Of course. And, but yeah, I just remember trying so hard in those classes and I would like like them but they were like sciences I'm like wow I can't believe I tried like that hard in that class <laughs> um and yeah and then was there one you were like oh like French was French one of them oh my god I hated French I think I liked oh. French up until high school because high school was like I reality didn't. check they're like talking to you in French during the class and then like oh you're tested god. in French and like I feel like 
my French teacher in grade eight, I feel really bad if she's listening, but she definitely did baby us a little bit. Like she would feed us the answers too easily. Same. So when we got to grade nine, I was like, well, this teacher's not going to feed me exactly answers. exactly how I felt. Yeah. My like elementary school French teacher, like not. She would make me feel like I was a rock star. Like she would give me Same. 90s and I'm like, <laughs> wow, I'm so good at French. And then we got to high school and I was like, wow, I know literally uh, yeah. nothing. I remember literally because nothing. we would like get tested by our French teacher. Like I said, we were in the same French class at the time and we'd go in the hall one on one I don't know if you remember this and he would have to I think he would was it he asked you a question in French you'd reply or you would have to Probably. read something in French I can't remember I but I remember being so stressed because he was oh God, also a little a little intimidating like yeah, he, he would kind of just stare at you for a while sometimes and you're like what is he thinking yeah what is he gonna say oh God, and then he'd be like okay good job and then you're like but anyway yeah, okay so like French. French so what was grade 12 like prom senior year you're at the top of oh the God, class it was so weird that like so I think like every our grade like got like so well like a lot of people just got so close like in grade 12 yeah it was like, kind of really fast odd it was so weird yeah. to think about yeah um but yeah it was so fun I think because like you had like at all the like younger grades like looking up to you and you had no one like judging you um yeah it was like so fun we just like didn't care yeah, I feel. for sure. I remember uh, it was kind of crappy because we just like, tried to put a prank on one of the last few days. Do you remember the water balloon thing? Oh, yeah. I was and then about. it got shut down like so oh, quick. Oh, like, This sucks. Yeah. Really? You weren't there that day? Yeah, I was, but I was inside signing my yearbook. <laughs> oh, my happening. God. Yeah. We were trying to like do it during the distraction where everyone was signing each other's yearbooks. Uh, I, I can't remember, remember who organized it. And everyone was drenched. Yeah, like people like, oh, brought yeah, buckets happening. of like somebody I can't remember. Some of the guys set it up, buckets of water balloons out, and then somebody went inside with a bucket to fill oh, it up or something. Uh, and the te- one of the teachers took the bucket and like dumped it like right on the grass, like she and then just stomped on them or something to make sure like we weren't gonna have any fun and we weren't gonna cause this. Like oh, I didn't we're like know really that. yeah. Oh man, wow. it was just I was come on, it was our last day and it was harmful water yeah, balloons it was literally, really i remember that yeah anyway prom how was prom okay it was so i the like leading up to prom was like the most fun like just like talking about it just comparing and, dresses yeah, being comparing like, are you dresses. getting a fake tan where are you getting yours yeah, literally and yeah. like prom proposals like i just loved watching like everybody's um it was a big you, deal were you on prom committee no, I don't think. Okay, no, I no, no, I wasn't. <laughs> well, wait, yeah, you were, and there was a few people. There was there? like a but like Megan was like the like lead, I think. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Was, there was like a lot of us, but we did nothing. We literally just talked about the theme. Once we did the theme, that point on, we didn't do anything. But it was beautiful. I remember the so venue nice. was yeah, gorgeous. Was, so, like, the decorations, yeah, it was um, definitely one of the most fun days for me for yeah, sure. So, like just like talking about it was like so fun, and like getting your hair done like pre prom. Oh, ah, so it's fun. such a it's such an experience guys like and like after prom too that was so after fun. prom was trippy man because i remember it being so the girl who that threw the so prom fun. the girl that threw after prom her house was right next door which oh, was yeah. really funny and that's actually even funnier because the girl next door threw the after prom her house used to be the one that the girl that threw the prom pre-prom oh, was yeah, which was that. so funny that's anyway funny. so at the after prom oh my god everyone just like everyone's tired because it was like a long day like so the guys <laughs> guys the guys went to go play hockey before prom oh, yeah, do you remember that, was, that i thought that was so cute we were like oh well, i thought it was dumb at first i was like why would you tire yourself <laughs> I was like, out? we're getting ready but, like, and the guys are playing right hockey. it's like all the girls <laughs> skip to like they skip their um class periods to go get ready it's like yeah. what are the guys gonna do just like a bunch of them go to school like no they're, they're like gonna rent they're gonna ring. exactly that was so cute i, I remember like they had fun though um and then yeah we like it was a long day. So I yeah, I see why people would be tired at the after prom. Yeah. But I remember people just being, man, they were like wasted and Yeah. And it literally and went just... up till like three or four in the morning. I don't even think we stayed that long now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I left at like two. Yeah. Uh, I think I left before that. It was so early. Mm-hmm. I was one of like the last people to leave. Because it, like, it was pretty dead. Like everyone was yeah. dead. Like you said, like people were barely playing Pong because yeah. everyone was literally so and dead. And we had to leave for... Well, Saga, uh, Saga the, next the next morning. morning and like people would leave early even though our check-in time wasn't until like pretty like late in the I, afternoon I was, like, everyone wants to be there early to, like, yeah i remember that i remember that and we were all so disappointed with our 
our cabin experience. But like, what did we expect? I we know for how much in we were like paying. Eight in high school, going yeah. to Wasega. Like at least we had like a place to, to stay. stay. But yeah, I know. We were promised like so much more stuff, but who cared? Like it was so it was funny. Like yeah, it was, a it cute was little, like, again session. another experience to say the least. Oh God, yeah, it was so fun. All yeah, right, that so that. I guess we'll rewind a little. So in grade 12, your deciding factor to go away to university. Did you have a like thought that crossed your mind that was like college university or was it just university? No, I knew I like wanted to go to university and I knew I wanted to do like kinesiology or like something like along there. Okay. So yeah. science related. Yeah. Okay. And did your parents support that? Yeah. They-, they like knew it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's literally since I was, like, in grade, like, 9 or 10. Okay. Well, that's good that you had your vision kind of for a while. Mm -hmm. So how did you come down to deciding which schools to go away to? Like, did you know you want to live away? I only applied to four. And you had up to five to apply. Yeah, and I only applied to four. And I knew I I wanted to go to a smaller school. I knew, um, yeah, I knew I wanted to go to a smaller school. And something that felt more like community, small, knit, close. Like I wanted like a small campus. I didn't want a huge, big campus. Um, And then, yeah, I got into the one like that I am now. And it was literally like my like top like three choices. And I remember I got, like, everyone was getting accepted, and I got accepted, like, a week later than, like, a lot of people. Yeah, that always sucks. And I was, like, so scared. I'm like, what if I don't get into anything? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. When uh, people are getting accepted school. around you, and you're like, yeah. I applied there, too. You're like, where's yeah. my acceptance? So, or decline. Yeah. Like, you just want to know. Yeah, because every, like, each university had, like, specific weeks, and, like, you would see people checking their phones in the calf. Yeah. And, like, yeah. yeah. And people would post it to Insta. Now, Insta yeah. was really big. Yeah. Just trying to get really big. Okay, cool. So then, I feel like i say every sentence okay cool i need to stop saying that (laughs) so how did 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 other people around you change your opinion or what school you want to go to or did you always know from the start like this is the one no i didn't know like what one i want to go to but my sister went to the one that i go to now and i think like i was just like comfortable with that one um, did you go and visit her at all? Yeah, I went to go so visit her. So you've seen her. the campus. You, yeah, exactly. You liked the surroundings. You heard yeah, good things. That's why. Did yeah. your other sister, she went to another school. Yeah, she went to a huge school and I knew I did not want to We can there. name that one because that one you don't even go to. I used to go to yeah, and dropped I, out she, of. It was Western and I like knew I didn't want to go there. People like would Twitter, they'd be like, I had to take a bus from the other side of campus. And I was like, nope, I can't do that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I can't it is quite big. That. It's its own town, guys. I, I kid you not. I can't. I, can't I will say that. it's very opposite of the school christina attends Literally now in the awesome. sense of close-knit community like if you Literally. didn't want to see someone good chances it's, you won't yeah. at um western yeah at my school you could literally yeah like we were i remember one time someone was visiting and we were on one side of campus and they were on the other and we were having a conversation like screaming and literally like that's how small it is because like we were literally talking to each other on the opposite side that's of so campus. funny so funny but so yeah. how did the picking of residences go or res- residency i knew one of my good friends now we um she was going there too and i wasn't like super close with her in high school but we were selling like that we, like we were still close not as close as we are now though um but she was like oh want to like room together and i knew i wanted to be dorm i didn't want to be apartment style i don't know why want name all the different styles so there was single room which were you're by yourself and then there's dorm so that's you and someone else and then there's apartment style and that's you and literally like in an apartment room. is there one called suite style no oh, okay. i don't think so isn't that the one my sister stayed in what? Yours is a, she's apartment style oh i guess okay that makes sense yeah. so apartment is like a bunch of rooms and then you have a communal space that you share so you have your own single rooms yeah. And then you have and then the you kitchen have like, a at... full ki- like every person has their own kitchen. Like each like room has their own kitchen, you know? My sisters didn't though. Yeah, like Oh, you meant the room. Yeah, like okay, got it, got it. Like room. Yeah, and they had a couple know? bathrooms that they yeah. share. Like but. that was nice. Like in dorm, you literally the whole floor shared a kitchen and the yeah. whole floor shared a bathroom. Literally but I didn't it, care. I wanted that. If you imagine what a typical university experience is and like watch an old movie, probably even a new movie, you literally see two girls like two in a room men. sharing with like wooden cabinets, yeah, oh my dingy God. bathroom, <laughs> or maybe like kind of a nice bathroom. I don't know, like whatever. But yeah, that's that that's typically what like the experience mine. is that people want. Yeah. So she you got to like pick if you wanted to like pick um a dorm partner you could so me and her did that and then we got like room together which was like so nice like I would could not imagine like not knowing my roommate 
um but yeah we like roomed together we got so close it was so fun and the person um, that you roomed with you also went to high school with yeah so you, she did know her majority of high school yeah we yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah so that made it easier for sure um yeah i would like love that but like people didn't know their roommates i'm like what if i got stuck with like a bad yeah person? i guess you're in with like you know yeah. you know how they're gonna be yeah it was so or much you, better you and like maybe do. like more comfortable like making friends yeah for sure and stuff and like opening up yeah. so what different activities and stuff did you get into when you were um, in school for the first year like I was so used to dancing every day in high school and then when it came to university I remember for the first semester of first year I didn't dance and it was like so weird I was like missing you're still something. like adjusting you're yeah, like okay I my classes my friend groups yeah it's That's a lot why. and a week a week's wild yeah or a I was month. just like adjusting to like everything and then second semester first year I um did one dance class and I like loved it yeah and then you like fell back in love not that you fell out of love but you're like yeah, oh this is I'm what like, I've been yeah, missing what, yeah exactly exactly I got so and I didn't know anyone in that dance class I'm like oh my god I'm going alone but like I was so excited every week to like go yeah 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 get your body moving again yeah, were you so going to the gym at this time too Mm, not like a lot still dance okay Mm -hmm. and then did you join feel the beat that was in it was in my second year okay so what was that transition like so you were you started doing dance second semester first year Mm -hmm. and then second year you how'd you get introduced to feel the beat second year i did um more dances and then literally at the showcase feel the beat performed and i saw that there was like volunteers and i saw that there was a girl in my program um that that was a volunteer i was like wow she could do that like how do i do that and then literally they said an announcement and said like if you would like to like be a volunteer for this email your resume here so i did it and i got an interview and i was so excited i remember this period of in your life because i remember you messaging me and i was doing like a lot more dances too not like a lot i was doing like two or three dances um but yeah I got an interview and it wasn't like a job interview they literally like they're chill like students interviewing you um and it's a little less stressful yeah it was so stressful for like casual yeah but like so casual um but yeah they just like want to know like about me and then I got the volunteer position I was like so excited again I didn't know anyone in that class like it was just it was like my thing um but yeah I like I got so excited every week to go like put like such a smile on my face this is once a week yeah and do you want to explain what feel the beat is for people who may not know yeah so feel the beat is a class for adults with um special needs in like my area of school like where I go to school and um each participant so they're an adult each participant is paired with a volunteer and the volunteer is a student that is in school and they're partnered together like throughout the dance just like their friend in the class um if they have any questions to ask like their partner their partner is like their friend in their class um and there was two instructors in the and class. you're an instructor now yeah, I'm an instructor for them now. But at the time, you were just, I a, was volunteer. just a volunteer with a partner. Okay, yeah. so then you just grew your love for the whole idea of yeah, it. I loved it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, and then the instructor position opened up because one of the instructors graduated. Perfect I was like, timing. Oh my God, let me apply. <laughs> And then I applied and got it, and I was so excited. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So you between dance, feel the beat. Did you do something called house council? Oh my god, yeah. What is house council? So house council is in first year, and it was your pretty much like your student council of your residents. So they planned all the events for your residents. And I remember it was a big deal in first year because like everyone would be like, put your house council ap- applications in. Like it's a big deal. Like it looks really good on a resume and everyone was like freaking out. And, and it looked then, good for a co-op too, right? Yeah, it looks I remember really good that being that. like a huge thing. Yeah. And everyone made it seem like such a big deal. Was it? Really. <laughs> now looking when back. look back at it, but it was like a huge deal. There was like a lot of people. It was like such cool I guess people. it feels like responsibility. Yeah. And like-, and like also something to do. And I got like a director's position. So I That's wasn't like sick. a general. I was like a director so I had two meetings a week instead of one so you felt extra special I was like pretty like high up there now thanks about it but um yeah that's what I did so that was like something else in first year what else Mm -hmm. did you do in university um so I did dance feel the beat I did um intramural dodgeball oh how was that so fun and funny um and then I also was a like 
orientation week leader so I got in charge of a bunch of first years and like led them through a week that's always so fun because like the training for that and like get it you just like get to know so much new people that you would never meet like on campus well it's good and like oh expanding gosh, so your fun. network they always talk about like expanding your what's it called not indeed LinkedIn and all that yeah and, it's such a good way especially because your school's small so mm-hmm. like you're you'll literally know everybody like yeah, so many crazy. more people yeah and you're like that mentor that people can go to and yeah, like exactly. hey I'm, I'm really nervous about this like I have no idea how this works like mm-hmm. could you explain to me and it's so fun like I my first year of doing it I got so close to like my first I remember year. You, oh, it was, was like your best your best yeah. experienced year doing that was, right yeah yeah oh my god it was so fun I remember the stories were wild mm-hmm. yeah oh my god, it's so fun so yeah, did yeah. you do any other extracurriculars did you like soccer or any of that mm-hmm. no just dodgeball like intramurals and dance yeah and feel the beat and then on weekends would you go home would you stay at school would you alternate in like first year and even like second year and third year no I wouldn't <laughs> go home often like I know a lot of people that went home like almost every weekend but like I didn't really like want to because I would be at home like all summer for four months. Yeah. And it's like, like when you're away at school, you want to be at school. Like take that time, yeah, exa- soak yeah. it all in. Mm-hmm. And like this school was, it wasn't far guys. Like it was. No, it was literally like an hour drive. Yeah. Less. Which is not that bad. Not <laughs> so it's like, if you want to go home, you can, but yeah. like just enjoy it. Like yeah. go home on Thanksgiving, go home when you yeah. need to. If like there's something you have to get done, I get it. Like make it convenient for yourself. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, yeah, you were yeah I remember in first year I was like I didn't want to leave because since I was getting to know so many people if I left I was scared I was like gonna miss Miss something something. (laughs) it's very true my brother miss like a bonding experience right my brother would say the same thing I remember when I went away he was like why are you spending weekends like coming home and wasting time doing this and that like these are your weekends especially in first year guys because that's when you're building connections that's when you're meeting people on res this is like yeah so you want to like don't do everything. You can't say yes to everything. You need to still pass and get your grades. But Mm -hmm. like the time that you do have in first year is so important in the sense that like that's when you build the foundation of hopefully your like lasting friendships and such. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, So fun. So is there anything else you want to talk about for university? Mm, No, just like first year was like, we always say this, like first year was like the craziest, like fun well like just gotta get your wild fun. out <laughs> yeah we were literally like wild and like we miss it but like we like couldn't do it again <laughs> yeah you know yeah like, we were we, crazy i have that conversation with a few people now being like i don't know how i went out four times right? a week or three times literally, a week like plus, how like, did i pass yes. yeah oh my yeah. god literally <laughs> yeah and plus like you don't have an income like you're yeah. literally spending you're wasting, so much your savings money from summer at the bar <laughs> oh my god when you're of age of course literally oh my god yeah so fun but yeah we always say that that we like miss it but like couldn't do it again yeah so what was your housing sorry one more thing what was your housing situation like after first year did you move in with the girl you previously roomed with were yeah, you with other so girls we moved i moved in with my roommate from first year um and two other people that also went to my high school so all together it was four of us or still is um and we live in a house like so close we we wanted a house we didn't want a condo because like we, i don't know we wanted like a grungy like university house like we have all our <laughs> you life. wanted the experience yeah we want the experience we have all light well, all our lives to, like move into a condo um and we didn't want that so we found like this nice cute little house and it was so close it doesn't have ac though but like that's fine but a lot of uni houses in college houses don't mine was like one of the only ones out of anyone i knew that did and mine was also an apartment that wasn't meant for students okay yeah. so that's why we had ac literal a student house house. yeah so close yeah um so you really like it yeah i've been before too it's it's quaint it's cute it's yeah, definitely it's like cute. a uni house and we for sure checked, like i remember we checked like another house and we're like it like this is so <laughs> no like, thank you like no we did not want yeah. that and then we saw this one and we like loved it <laughs> i know my sister when she was looking at houses because she also goes to the same school christina mm-hmm. goes to and she viewed one house with her friends and it was a previous frat house oh my god no, frat house that. guys fraternity it was a dump you she's like the pictures look so that. good then you got there and it was like mold oh and nasty Especially carpets like guys that live there like guys are oh, crazy yeah just one little tip i mean I could, we could give you multiple but one don't uh, like try not to go for a house that guys have previously guys lived have in previously unless they're ocd lived. and they keep their like stuff clean because yeah. 
chances are there's gonna be stains everywhere things are gonna be broken like my brother once told me a story that his friend was like wasted and like punched a hole in their wall so then he had to like pay to get fixed like yeah and then it just like (laughs) there's a hole in the wall for forever like the door breaks down because you know things get wild and crazy they just girls don't have the power to do that stuff like they're like our house before which is good yeah Mm -hmm. it just oh yeah that's the way to go so let's get into fitness then what got you into fitness tell us about your page that you've been posting on on ig so i was like always like active my like whole life um and then i guess being in university like really like pushed me to like go to the gym yeah and i remember summer after first year i got a job at a gym and i also worked at a dance studio and plus like my major is kinesiology like pretty much like surrounded by like gym fitness. people yeah. and fitness um and yeah i got like really into it i loved talking to people about fitness and like what they do to like keep up their fitness and like their macros and like what they eat and like how they work out and like how they live their active lifestyle yeah and different exercises for specific muscles and stuff like that and then i like started an instagram page i was talking to my sister and she's like why not like you're literally what do you have to lose it's free yeah (laughs) literally you're surrounded by these people like all day and i don't we always say like we like i don't live like a bad unhealthy like lifestyle even being a student i don't eat that like nasty student processed food usually yeah like you don't I, go for a box of kd on your yeah, typical or day like ramen ew like i don't <laughs> eat that yeah and yeah i eat like pretty healthy so i'm just like yeah i want to like share that um and yeah just also like progress and stuff yeah, yeah. for sure progress photos are or everything and it also like motivates me to like work out too that page 100 100 because it's like that's your name that's your name on there like you want to like represent right yeah so you said you worked at a gym what did you do at the gym or so people always say they're like oh my god were you a personal trainer i'm like no (laughs) i worked at a juice bar that was within a gym and I made protein shakes. So I made, I always So say she I'm got like, to give them to the meatheads. Yeah, I'm like, I make protein shake for buff guys. Like, that's what I say. And that's when I really started getting involved with, like, supplements. Because my boss well, was you're like, around it all the time. Yeah, and, my, and I didn't really know what they were before. And my boss was like, okay, here's BCAA and here's glutamine and creatine. And I was like, what's up? Did you start and Googling it? I, it's on like the back of the container. So you just read so she's like, here, read this. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. And like when people, like all the buff guys would be like, I need this, 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 and this. And like they like specific things. Like if they didn't have a specific amount of protein in their shake, they would like get mad. Of course. Yeah. Or so if, she guess it wasn't a very busy place, would you say? Yeah. But so they're, mm, they're watching you make that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like a I, I was like the only person on each shift. It was one person per shift, and yeah, the people would, like, watch you, like, make, like, they could see you, like, make the things. Um, but yeah, that's where, I, like, I got, like, introduced to it. Do you still work I, there? No, it's closed now, which I'm, like, really sad about, but <laughs> I still go to the gym. So, so that's where you started your, like, supplement researching, I guess, yeah, and right? Also, to start to understand what it is your yeah. pu- people are putting into their bodies. And also, the personal trainers would, they would have their breaks in between clients, and come to the juice bar and just like eat or just like talk to me like as their break and i would i would talk to them like about so much like fitness stuff yeah i'm sure you get so much free info oh my gosh i don't have to pay for you and you can just tell me yeah i would like they would give me tips and like some of them would like train with me and like i'm like am i just doing this exercise right can you just like tell me and like they would tell me people would kill for that exactly i'm like you know and it's for free yeah (laughs) for sure because as females, I'm sure we both know how it was like when we first stepped into the weight section of yeah, like that so gym intimidating. specifically. I've now realtered my saying because I used to say any weight section was kind of intimidating, but mm-hmm. I want to say the one that was at that yeah, gym like because the there was, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, it's not the call it. I got, yeah. Oh, cause like, it was like grimy guys and personal trainers. Like, like honestly, I've, out in the mirror. I've been to enough gyms now to like, know, and not everybody is like that, but yeah. a lot of people are at this gym. Oh, yeah. So it was very intimidating sure. going into that. Yeah. Guys that go there are like so into the gym, like going to the gym is like their social outing and like they like yeah. eat, sleep, gym live at the gym eat like, sleep gym literally on the that's, bench that's press. literally <laughs> the, yeah like oh my god it was yeah. crazy um but yeah i got like so like comfortable there and people like would after like a few shifts and like a few like summers of being there people would be like oh my god you're the girl from the juice bar like oh my god like you you worked at the juice bar right? i know i remember we were out yeah. oh was it it's probably last summer i can't remember like two summers ago, we were I think. no i think it was last summer we were out oh. in 
a place near where we live and we went to a bar and this Asian guy came up to you and was like, oh, yeah. oh my God, you work at a juice bar. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, and you, like, she's like us, famous from the juice bar. <laughs> he could, yeah, no. Oh my yeah. God, he did. And then didn't he ask to like, if we wanted to drive home after? Yeah. Like, no, we're not done we're with our night yet. Fine. But I don't know why we didn't yeah, take the free so ride, funny. but we totally didn't. Oh God, okay. Yeah. So then once that whole juice bar thing happened, you started working out more intensely at that gym yeah. and then did you transfer that kind of over to the gym at your school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started working out like every day at this gym that I worked at every day like during the day and then I would have like my shifts at night and then um, yeah, since I was like so into working out there, I like worked out a lot at school and it, like I got like comfortable with the machines that way I like knew what to do at school too. Do you work out by yourself or do you work out with other no, people? I like, like working out by myself. Yeah, it's like when your people, time. When people like ask me to work out, like I'll say yeah, but like I like working out with myself so much better, like by myself. Yeah, yeah, it's like um, I just like don't waste time. Like I go there to work out. I don't like. I know when you go with oh someone else, you just tend to talk more. It yeah. is like an outing. Like those guys literally, literally say, like yeah. when my boyfriend and I go, we do completely like two separate things. Yeah, like, I might help spot him on a bench. He'll yeah. help me do the same, but we won't do the same routine. Yeah, me and my roommates like we'll go to the gym together, and most of the time we like walk there together, split up, then come walk home together. Back together. Or sometimes we'll do the same workouts, but like not that often. Yeah, or like a couple things, but yeah. Yeah. never the full routine yeah, so like when did you start your instagram page i started it like last summer like literally like last year um so it's been one year yeah like i think give or take a year. um well, that's but really yeah, good i like started i like loved doing like shakes because i worked at like a protein shake bar yeah um and then show I just, those skills. yeah obviously and then i did like a lot of like workouts um and like also like student foods and like easy like healthy meals like being a student and also like quick stuff that's like on the go because I, i'm like so busy for sure and i feel yeah. like you're targeting i want to say your what your audience is like like girls, girls in there what like maybe 17 to like 25 yeah like 17 that kind of 30. target yeah mm -hmm. um and i think the information you have is valuable especially for the typical uni kid that doesn't want to oh eat God. trash yeah, you know what i mean true. or just wants like a quick workout or something quick to bring to work like you always show like a little yogurt and like yeah. a topping you put in just right? to, like you know give it that crunch yeah. or whatever it's like i and like when people that i go to school with it like they'll come up to me sometimes and be like oh my gosh i did one of your workouts i'd be like really how do people actually say that yeah oh. i've had like a few people and then also one time i was at a I was out <laughs> and Beep. I was in the bathroom and one girl came up to me and she was like, Oh my God, I follow your Instagram page. And I didn't know her. And I was like, Oh my was gosh, this really? at school or here? No, this was here. That's so I was funny. Like, I was like, so I was like, really? Like, thank you so much. Cause, Cause it, like, people don't know how much it means, especially yeah. when like you're small and you're starting, you're trying to grow. And I didn't know her. Like yeah. my friends follow me and like, like my stuff, but like, that's different. Like I didn't know her. I'm like, Oh my God, you follow me. Yeah, <laughs> like, thank for you. sure for yeah, sure it was so cool and plus like i think mine's different because i work like now i work nine to like a nine to five job um and plus like i go to the gym after and then do like instagram like whenever i can during the day a lot of people that i know with like an instagram like fitness account they like don't really have a specific nine to five job so they can get content during the day like i can't do yeah that. it's like oh i'm making this i'll film it now but like yeah. you're like oh okay God. i'm on lunch break i'm filming yeah. what i'm eating for lunch literally it's kind like of so pre-planned yeah and like that's a normal person's life usually so that's it's true I, like, to it's show. like the typical so okay literally. that transitions into my next question then what do you see your doing because you have one more year left of school no. are you thinking of doing another year are you doing a master's are you gonna take this instagram full time or are you gonna do half like what do you what's Ugh, your plan i don't i literally oh my god i don't know i want to graduate and i want to go for school after right after i don't know i don't know like, your, what i want to okay. go to school for yet like after and I don't know if I want to do it, like, right away. Or take, like, a year. Yeah, or, like, take a year. I don't know, like, what I exactly, like, want to do. I know I want to, like, work with, like, athletes or, like, I don't want to, like, I'm working in an office right now. And, like, yeah, that's, like, really good. But, like, I don't want to do that, like, for forever. your life. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. Especially because, oh as we just said throughout this whole episode, how active your lifestyle is, I couldn't imagine oh you God, at a desk yeah. all day, every day. Like, do yes, you see yourself being a personal trainer? Not, like, full-time. I would... I would I always say, like, I would want to do it on the side. I wouldn't want to do it full time. Okay. Like, do you see day. yourself, like, maybe working, like, operations at the gym or, like, managing a gym? Mm, no. I, no. No? Yeah, no. Would you I ever always, take Instagram full time? 
Mm, if I get like huge, yeah. But I always want to work with like athletes or like people with special needs or like kids. So you have with, like okay. That. So you have some goals then of what you have in mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, but well yeah, that's, that's cool. Why so far. So how? Uh, which I guess influencers are you into nowadays? Like, oh do you gosh. watch? Okay. They, I know, I know the beauty girls we talk about. Yeah. But okay, w- lately, give me some mix. Give okay, me some beauty. Give me some fitness. Natalie Bali, not be fit. Oh my god, I feel like I like know her. She is our age, I think, and she lives in Ohio or goes to Ohio um, for school. Yeah, for school, she's in health sciences. Oh wow! And she has the body that like I want, and she doesn't have an extremely like bodybuilder body, but it's not like super skinny. It's like perfectly toned. And she is an ambassador for Gymshark, which is, like, so cool. But she's, like, our age, which is so it's cool. It's crazy how much yeah. people can make and being I, a sponsor our age yeah. nowadays. And I, like, um, mention her in my stories, and she, like, replies. And that's like, such a like, great that's feeling. Cool. And she has, like, 40-something K, which is, like, a Decent. lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, for sure. When people are large and they actually reply and they give a yeah, crap, like, it is, is so a good cool. feeling. It's a key. You actually care about your followers. I will use your code when I shop through yeah, you. Yeah, literally. That's, well, that's how, the way I think of it. Like, Same. I'll support you Same. because you take the time out of your day to reply to me. Yeah. And she um, – I take, like, a lot of, like, exercises from her. Like, whenever I don't know what to do, I, like, look at her account. So is she just like, oh, an Instagram or does she do YouTube too or both? Or? She does um, YouTube, but she started Instagram first. So she started YouTube because of her – yeah, because of her Instagram channel. Um, Yeah, I watch her YouTube sometimes, but I, like, like her Insta, like, so – much more she's like relatable yeah like she's so cute and like relatable that's the best Um, when they are personable and relatable then it's like oh i'm just watching a version of me you know someone i would hang out with yeah oh my gosh and that's what like she's like our age that's what like i like love the most yeah um who else i love like a bunch of well i like sarah's day yeah she's cute she's She's just a ray of sunshine man like she could say a swear word with a smile on her face and i could be like wow she's a sunshine like so cute i've been watching her like a lot lately and listening to her podcast um you said ashley jordan earlier before we started this podcast we were talking about navigation which is their her clothing line it used to be called just peachy oh really let's just get that straight is it her clothing line Uh, i don't even know it's like her and her boyfriends but like let's be real it's mostly female clothes that they're selling literally there's like six men's things the men's yeah men's is lacking really but it used to be called just peachy and it was one launch and then they rebranded yeah. So I was like, that's awkward. I didn't even know she had her own clothing line. And then I saw, I'm like, wow, like, yeah. is this everything that she's like, because she's not certified on Instagram. I thought she that's would That's crazy. Be. Yeah, she's not. Um, but I saw, I don't know how I found her because she was always on my popular page. Yeah. And she has like, such know. a nice body too. She used to wear Gymshark, but I don't know if she was a Gymshark yeah, athlete. So it's know. usually that, if that's similar to what you follow, they'll show you that. Yeah. But yeah, I just, did you buy anything from her most recent launch? No, because I wanted, I am looking for new <laughs> leggings that are like not super so expensive and like i really want gym shark but i'm looking for like new stuff gym shark's overhyped can i just say that right now yeah good I, good stuff have said that but i will say so there expensive. is better out there and there are so many indie brands trying hey, to good. start yeah. up that are re- like identical in price or slightly lower or slightly higher but it's more worth yeah the while i like want that yeah so and you didn't get anything from no because i go to her it was like she kept on talking about a launch and I didn't know, like, I didn't know what it was for. So mm. then I finally looked at her profile and I take a lot of workouts from her too. Yeah. And, um, I went to like this website and literally everything was sold out. Like everything was blurred and I would look at something and like the only size left was like extra large. I know. I'm like, hey, and really? They always say that they like try to get more inventory for the next launch, but you never actually know how yeah, much Yeah, they're they like get. next launch coming yeah. soon. I'm I literally like, have what? a reminder that goes off. Oh this sounds insane I am. With <laughs> Alphalete, Navigation, Buff Bunny. Buff Bunny? I looked at Buff Bunny <laughs> too. Not a- yeah, but you have to go right on at like Ugh. 10 o'clock or 11. And like if I'm at work, my boyfriend is buying that stuff for me. Yeah, <laughs> and like, then he'll I'll transfer him later. But um, yeah, I got, uh, there's like an aqua crop top with a mesh back. Is that funny? No, navigation. And then a <gasps> lilac you got one. Navigation? Yeah, I'll show it to you when I get it. Wow. But honestly, I want to say the price is good because it was pretty good. American, the top was $22. So yeah. Canadian was like, Okay, it was probably close to 40 after like all of the dumb taxes and yeah. stuff that Canadians have to pay in the conversion. But I think $40 is like, mm, it's, like it's similar to Lulu, maybe a little yeah. less depending on what you're getting. So and I, I do support 
startup brands that know what they're Especially doing. Startup. Like when really the only thing is, and my boyfriend and I talked about this the other day, is they have taken some questionable, questionable pieces that are very similar to Gymshark. Really? The seamless leggings with the butt contour is an identical dupe for the Gymshark high flex leggings. Wow. Okay. I'm that I that I currently yeah. have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's an identical dupe. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the originality is not really there, mm -hmm. yeah, but true. those leggings were, were they Every sold out. They're them. my favorite leggings. One like top three that I own. And so I can like, see why oh, she took that. Yeah. I can see why she probably went to Jim Shark's manufacturer and was like, I need whatever this was Literally. and made 10 colors yeah. because the, like I want the hot pink ones now because Jim Shark doesn't carry them anymore. Mm -hmm. And navigation now has basically the exact same thing, Literally. but just navigation written on the back. Yeah. Right. And I remember I want, I just like wanted something and I had like a pair of biker shorts in like my cart and they were only like $38 like American, which wasn't like too bad, but they didn't have the little butt contours. So yeah, I some did, of them I'm didn't. Like, I won't get it. Yeah. I literally, I'm yeah. like, I can't get it. It's got to be worth your money, guys. I really wanted a butt contour. So do you follow Heidi Summers then? No. No. Oh, she, I follow Whitney Simmons. She's so cute. I like her. I'm wearing oh. her highlighter. I she's so cute. Love her. She's also she's like girl next door vibe. She's yeah. like cute. She's like fun. Yeah. She's I'm like so fit and pretty. Yeah, she is. She is yeah, for like sure. Well any do you follow any guys? Mm, no. Well, not any that I'm like really like into. into. Yeah. Yeah, no. So just the girls then. Do you follow like Stephanie Buttermore? No, mm -hmm. you don't know her. No, just like those um, like three. I've do you know Balance of Ath Athletica? No. It was run by like Taylor. What's her last name? <laughs> Something. Her, I think she also, no, she, I was going to say she was a brand and then rebranded as well, but hers is called Balance. And they're oh, the maybe first. I have actually. They're the first line I've seen do um, animal prints and they did mm. them well. Oh, like they really? did cheetah, they did leopard, they did like, not zebra. Um, what's the alligator like? reptile reptile, yeah, reptile. like okay. they they did pretty well the only thing is shipping to canada Where's and the conversion was crazy stupid for one pair i was gonna get the cheetah was 130 for one oh, pair and i was like until they fix that until they become bigger and can yeah. fix that i cannot just because that's the same as like the most expensive pair at lululemon being 128 no yeah right mm -hmm. and it's like okay well at least if i know if something's wrong i can bring it back to lulu yeah. balance i'm not gonna like, ship it back like that's such a hassle yeah okay yeah yeah if it's from like Australia, then I don't want to do it because it's like too far. That as well. Australia. Ugh, yeah, it's just. Like <laughs> yeah, any of those far, far places. Um, but yeah. So I like love like following them. Yeah. So Great cute. inspiration. Also, yeah. like you can recycle some of their workouts for oh sure. Oh my gosh, yeah, for sure. And I like tag them and stuff and like I'll see if they like, like them. Any YouTubers you watch? Mm, yeah, I like Sammy Robertson. Robinson. Okay. She is so cute. She's Australian too. Oh, I um, love Australians. But yeah, she's so cute. She's a year older than us. I thought she was a lot older, but literally I started watching her because she's like one of the prettiest people ever. Like she's like, I can't believe she's like real and she's so pretty. And she's also like a YouTuber into makeup. She's like a, an, an ambassador for Clinique and like Mac and like a bunch of other things. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, Mac's hard to be a ambassador with. Yeah. And, um, she also does a lot of, like, fitness, so she gets, like, sent Tropica and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, she does, like, a lot of, like, fitness things. Would you ever be an ambassador for a supplement company? If it was, like, good. Like, if it was, like, I One Up or, like, have you heard of One Up? Yeah. Or First Form, I think, is another big one. Mm, if it, if it was, PE if Science? It was, like, good to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, like, like it seems like a stuff. good a good negotiation here. Yeah, I would, for sure. Yeah, that would definitely, like, mm. help your page, too. Yeah, and it'd be so cool. And, like, so have you ever thought about reaching out to them? To like no, any of those? no. I want sure. to like get bigger, and then do like you have like a goal out. for yourself? Like how many followers? Before? Right now, I want to get to like twelve hundred. <laughs> That'd be good for now. Yeah, no, and then after sure. like get like, um, yeah, up to more. Well, you're pretty consistent as long as you keep being consistent. And yeah, exactly. Relatable, like exactly how you described what you like yeah. seeing, making your content, and being like true and genuine putting out like real stuff you yeah. know not trying to be anyone else then yeah exactly i have gotten it. like a few like free things that like i really like I, like what i got oh i never told you no i just i got um veggie burgers <laughs> i got okay like, i saw that but i didn't know if you got them sent for free no yeah or... i got sent free so the brand soul veggie burgers and i like i eat them like almost every day i love them so i got those i reach out to them actually 
Um, but I also like tag them in like so many of my pictures. Yeah. And then I just got recently sent some free stuff from Summer Fresh, the hummus. No yeah. way. Uh-huh. That's a big one. I know. I got good them for like you. A bunch of, like, was free, it good? Like hummuses. What kind of hummus is um, it? Well, it's like coupons, so it's oh. like free, like free hummuses for like a bunch of coupons and like their salads. Um, but yeah, I've never gotten sent like a PR box. My friend, my crazy. other like, I know people. I like some of my friends are like also like fitness influencers from my school, and they've gone sent like fit like food like PR packages. I'm like, wow, wow. Are they cool. big? Like how many followers? Do they, mm, have? they have like three thousand. Okay. So, but they're like very small companies that like send them. For sure. That's kind of how it starts. Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing if like Halo Top sent you a Oh my god. Yeah. Package? So they replied to like one of my stories once. But yeah. They didn't. When it yeah. first came to Canada, it was like wild. Yeah. It was cute. Oh my god. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, do you have anything else you want to share mm. with the viewers? Oh my god. Lately, Kay, I want um a nice like big mirror i was gonna ask you where you got that mirror <laughs> so my full length body mirror is from ikea oh, is that expensive under 100 oh my gosh okay but i definitely um which i'll talk about this in the future but i'm doing some changes to my bedroom and my theme is white with accents of silver oh, yeah, like now if that. i could go back it would be gold <laughs> okay also really? i would get a mirror well i guess this would not go good with the gold but i would do a silver mirrored mirror that looks super 3D and cool. Like the the frame is yeah. silver with like some like crystals. Oh, They're so yeah. pretty, but those are more expensive. Yeah, those are so expensive. So expensive. And I want um I need to like keep on practicing taking like good quality pictures. Yeah, those are. Oh, uh, we were talking so about Lightroom cool. earlier before we also yeah, hit Adobe record. Um, <laughs> yeah, hit up that app when you need some it's like, fine like, tune in literally it's like a life changer oh yeah my God, it's no so cool. I, uh, when my boyfriend got me into it i just i was like oh no i'm not gonna waste my time editing like the photo looks really good no he's like no babe literally no. Oh the littlest God. adjustment will make the colors look more pop and, and like, vibrant and, and you could like, like select specific colors that you yeah, want like yeah. like oh my god it's so it's crazy yeah yeah do you film your instagram videos with your phone oh yeah i do it on my phone are you gonna do it by in a with a camera okay i was like thinking about this like i only thought about this like once or twice but i want like a smaller not like a huge camera but like one of those like small cameras with like the flip up i can show um, you mine okay yeah i want like one of those it's perfect to, like, pocket take pictures size with. yeah i want a pocket size one to take pictures with like good quality pictures it's also not obnoxious to like Ooh, have at the gym yeah and also like cool like good quality videos yeah which is can be done like canon just came out so i have the canon g7x mark one okay. the canon g7x mark three just came out and i watched a review by sawyer hartman i think it was yesterday um and unbelievable guys so Does it make it like is this it camera it? okay so it has exactly what you're talking about small pocket looks yeah. like, basically looks like mine but the improvements are impeccable has the flip screen has the, the recording obviously option the bluetooth to be able to connect to your phone to send those photos my mark really? one can do that but like through like airdrop pretty much what you just need to download an app oh i didn't know that but the thing is what this is good game changer for you because you film on your phone yeah you can record now portrait so if you tilt <gasps> that camera it now you can bluetooth export it to your phone mm-hmm. so that quality and it's already flipped wow. for you right to instagram that's cool yeah wow, ama- that's guys so cool. some amazing features like I, I like a lot of my stuff is canon and i've recently got into sony um Uh, but yeah no that's that would be perfect for what you do yeah i like really like and i see people like taking pictures with like a camera but like i don't care like yeah especially when you're not comfortable filming with a gigantic thing like yeah filming with something with a big mic on it it's it's it can be a little intimidating and like people watching you like you definitely have to be comfortable i've now gotten to the point where i yeah, could care like, it. less it's yeah. more like people asking questions or like when i was in europe people be like vlogger youtube really <laughs> with like, that you would yeah, bring that big thing mm-hmm, you use that mm-hmm. that was a big microphone i know <laughs> i know so it was like it was it was funny but i'm just like so carefree with it at this point but yeah so that's a that's a good small one that oh, yeah that's good. that's literally like what i want mm-hmm yeah but I don't know. I haven't like put like much thought into it. I'm like, wow, that'd be yeah. So it's cool it's definitely something you wanna uh, like accept in your head that you're gonna invest because uh, it is yeah. You know, it is pff, mine. I think I got it online when they were trying to get rid of them because the new ones were coming out. So mine might have been eight hundred dollars, but I want to say the newest ones like maybe a thousand yeah. at least. At least. Like such good quality. 
Yeah. And like Canon's a really like good brand. Too. Yeah. It's respectable for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anything else you want to share? Mm, no, I don't think so. Thanks so much for having me on. Of course. You want to <laughs> link link your stuff? Yeah. So it's my Insta- my fit Instagram is called see it to believe fit. And it's C underscore it underscore B L B E L I fit. Wonderful. And yeah. Go follow her. Like her stuff. Like my stuff. Comment. <laughs> you might call you back. Will we see YouTube videos at some point? I don't know. Maybe. I want to get like really comfortable with this. And, and go like, from grow there. following. Yes. And then maybe like do that. But yeah. A lot of people do like have Instagrams. Like a lot of people I know have Instagrams. And then because of that, they did YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I don't know. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. I really enjoyed having you as my first guest. I hope you guys all enjoy. So if you are listening to this on the Spotify platform or the podcast app on the podcast app, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you could drop a comment, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. A five star review. Five star would be great. <laughs> um, and then don't forget to follow all the other social media links that will be listed in the description of this episode. Oh Thanks God, for coming yeah, on. So fun. Bye.